Hey everyone, it's Adira, and today we're going to build a cozy country cottage. And we found this really fun spot over in this, I would call it almost the Redwoods area. I'm not sure. Let me show you on the map where my, where I've decided to uh, put my little country cottage. But it's way up here. Here, let's see if I can get it to zoom. It's not wanting to zoom. Here is the starter area right here. Here's Cinder Vault, and here's our home in the starter area. We are way up here. Uh, we're right across from this beautiful uh, mansion, maybe. I'm not sure what this is, but it goes up. And there's lots of stuff in there. My goodness, it took forever to go through there. And I'm interested because down in the basement, there's spiders. So as our property extended out, I'm almost wondering if that encases it below too. But anyway, let's do this. We want to build a country cottage. It's going to be such a cute little place. And look at this neighborhood. I mean, it's so beautiful. So one thing about this area, there's a couple of enemy that just um, that are here that you have to be careful for. There's these poisonous flowers. I don't see any right here, but then there's these little mushroom people. I don't know what they are, but they, at first I was scared to death and it wouldn't let me, um, seemed like I had a hard time finding a place that didn't have those. And finally, I'm like, I uh, can't find them, but they're little mushroom people that walk around and normally they come up here and they come right up on the property to see what I'm doing there. It's like they're really curious. And at first I was like, oh man, I don't want to build my house where there's danger all the time. But they, they aren't dangerous unless you hit them first. So just be aware of that. Because there's a lot of good places to build. But those mushroom people are everywhere. Normally, I don't know where, <laughs> I don't know where they are now. Of course, when I'd want to talk about them. Okay, so let's get going on our country cottage. We Let's go ahead and put our hammer on. And I'll show you. Let's get on this. So first you want to build a rectangle of four. Let me see if I can get it fixed here. One. If I put it on snap, you'll be able to see it. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. So build a rectangle of four by three by four. And then you want to add two blocks right here in the front like this. These empty places like this, I actually had my house built here, um, and but I took it all down. So <laughs> this is where the porch is going to be. There's going to be a stone, flint stone porch on the front. That's what the, these big holes are. We're not going to put them on right now, though. It's just easier to deal with your house as simple as possible with your roof until you get that much done. Back here is going to be another big deck. So we won't put that out yet. And then over here, there's going to be another little side room that's going to be here, like two here. There's going to be four blocks right here. But again, I don't want to do that. I just want to simplify it So, but because the next thing you want to do is put your walls up. Now what I do is I go ahead and put all of my walls, solid walls up all the way around. Then I can cut out any doors or windows. Uh, but it's just so much easier and this way too you have your walls and you can decide where you want to put your doors and windows uh, to, uh, figure it out that way instead of a little piece here little piece there I've just found it's easier to do it plus it's easier to do the roof so in my house in the country cottage I, d I don't like the roof too close to my head or the ceiling so what I like to do is I like to raise the wall up let's see what well, let's undo Let's not have it to snap. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Some things are easier to place when they're snapping, but some things aren't. So what you want to do, place it all the way into the corner on that outer outer board. And then lift it up. I lift it up two times. And I place it. And then I come down like that. And do that all the way around. And it'll come out just perfect. Make sure that you're not overlapping that you're staying on that board all the way around or on the edge if you're using a different material and get all of the walls even across the top. All right, I'll bring you back when I get all of that done. Okay, so I've got all the walls around. Let's go ahead and cut out a little place. We have a door. I'm not sure this will be. I'm not looking at it to, to look, see if this is exactly where I want it, 
It's going to be close, but I want to be able to get out. <laughs> that's, that's my main objective. I think, I think that might be right where it's going to be. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is your ceiling or your upper, your attic floor or your upper story floor. So let's go ahead and do that. That's the next thing. You'd think the roof would be, but no. It's easier if you go ahead and do your ceiling next because that gives you something to stand on. Let's see. Here we go. Um, to do your roof. So go around. Um, I'm going to go everywhere but the corner because the next step is the stairs. I'll bring you back once I get all this. It's real fiddly, and it takes me a little bit of time. See, like I almost didn't have that correct. I'll have to do this and check and make sure. Once I get one done, in fact, I might put my, I put, might put stamp on for this one. See. Okay, so we have the ceiling on. I did a run around to make sure all the edges matched up. Let's go ahead and we can put the, actually put the porch on now because I'm having to jump up and down. So let's, we're going to choose the rough flintstone block and we're going to put the porch in so that I can get in and out easily. But the, by putting it in now, I know that my walls are placed correctly. Now here X works. X works really good on foundation. See, there's two foundations. All right, so we're going to do some work along this front. Never fear. So the next thing we want to do is get some stairs so that we can get upstairs easily. I've cut this little part out here. Let's see here. We want we want the little floor or went this yeah floor right here, um, and we want to put it. Normally I have it really low, but we do have something else we're going to do here in a minute. I think that's right that we need a little bit higher stairs than what we usually do. And then let's make sure get to the side so we can see where we are. Okay, one out. There we go. That and then down. One. There we go. And then we want to attach it up here. So let's rotate our stairs. Um, I think it'd be better to get up. Let's see if we can get up. Yes, good job. Okay. Let's see here. If we go over here, can we carefully walk out on the beam, maybe? Maybe out here? Um, down. I think that right there. I guess that's right. Let's look and see. Oh yeah, I guess it's right. I'm not used to these little boards sticking out on this side. Maybe I have to go ahead and put one more block there. We'll keep that from... Yeah. There we go. Probably here. And here. There we go. And that... Whoops. And that... Oh, well, you're going to use a lot of single block building. It's just, it's just easier. Okay, I think that's good. I like it. We need to finish all of this out, and I will do that later. There's something I'm going to do with that. It looks terrible right now, but never fear. So we have the stairs, so now we can get up, up into our onto our roof. Um, what I'm going to do next is put some lights out because it's just easier to see. i got some torches. And that way we can see what we're doing. Put them where we know we won't have any doors. Okay. It just gets so dark. Okay, let's put a roof on top of this little cottage. So we're starting with the 4M, or it's pretty much 4 meters is what we're going to use. So you take that and you place it. The Tarred shingle roof block is nice because it has this little grid so you can see how you can put it down and see those lines in the roof and that'll give you a visual of where you want to place it. So we want to place it on the that second group and then we want to pull it, take it out to the edge if 
we go out to the edge, one, two, three, I think I saw it jump three, three, and place that. And then this one, it's so close you can kind of eyeball it to get it to where you want it. But you want that, the uh, shrouded, shrouded wood is nice because it gives you that little edge to visualize. So, see that? I need to go forward a little bit if you look at the top. That looks right. Yep, that's perfect. All right. So then, let's do, we want to do corners. You want to always do your corners first. So we have our little grid in that second part. And get it to the edge and then go one, two. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this corner. Oh, and what we'll always double check everything to see but it thinks think this is it's really easy to fix any of this now what I noticed about the visual on this corner is it doesn't look quite right so that looks like the edge so we want to go whoop, oh no 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 there we go want to go two I think I see it's hard to visualize I think one more and if it's not right, it's really easy to fix later. That's something that's super easy to fix. So we want to do this little section next because we use a little uh, valley right in here. So let's line these up. You want to nestle them inside of each other like that. And if you did it right, there should be no board in that middle section showing. It should be nice, smooth roof. Now here, right here at this corner, we want to bring it all the way to the very edge of the corner, like right there. And click that, and then we want to do the same over here. Get, the, get it just nestled right inside there. I think it's probably easier to do it from looking down on this one. Probably going to need to look right around my feet. Let's see, get that in there. I can't see. Maybe get up higher maybe lower I can't see that corner that looks right yeah I think that's right and we're gonna do the little see if you look you can see a V right here and that's how you know that that's the kind of roof that you need is this V inner roof corner it's like a valley and let's nestle that inside looking at the tops uh, to get them get them straight get both sides nice and nestled uh, I think that's right nope so I make those jagged edges it's not right okay let's see here we need to keep playing with it there we go see how pretty it looks it looks really nice so now the next, look, we do need to do a little bit of a roof here, a peak. Let's do our peak right here till we get to the end of here. Uh, if I can see, I can't tell. Is that right? Yeah, it's nice and smooth. And I think, I think we take it to the end. No, we're going to leave that for now. So what we want to go ahead and do is finish this side. This side. This right here, this side's really easy, but we want to do the corner first, so we know whoop, we know what to mat, how to match it up. Okay, so the grid, and then go two. That's two. And the, the if you don't have oh, <laughs> if you don't have your edges just right, it's so easy to fix them. So don't don't worry about that too much. Let's just get this where these meet up I think we can do it from here better you just have to get your your character in the right position to be able to see and you want to pull these all the way down there's this is the easiest part right here make sure your top the top edge is straight and then you're fine nestle them yep like that okay now let's do the peak I love these little peak roofs oh my gosh Okay, let's see here. Get it right to the edge. Yep, that looks good. And then we'll bring it all the way down to the end, but so I don't fall off the edge. Let's turn around and go this way. And just keep going. 
a little bit until you get to the end. And I'm gonna I'm looking over there on my left over my left hand shoulder to get that edge right there. There we go. That's good. So let's see here. So let's put down a um, little bit of a platform for something to stand on here because I have to uh, see this way. Okay. So okay. So this one looks like needs to go. Yeah. We didn't need that peak yet. I don't think. We'll see. Okay. I can't remember, but I think you don't need it. Okay, so now we're back to the V. Oh, I think I did need it because it shows where I'm going to nestle this. That's why I needed that peak. Okay. So I was that, that was correct. All right. Let's do this. I don't think you need to put it all the way to the end, though. I just need it. <laughs> I need it for um, visual. Let's see if I can get the... Come on do Q and scroll down. So that Q doesn't work very good. I wish it did. Let's see if I can get it from this end. I need to nestle it down in there. There we go. Um, let's go from there. Let's see if that's not too much. I just, what I'm looking for is where my dot is, right here where my white dot is, that we need to be able to nestle this valley in to there, this edge, and over here to this edge. We need to nestle it. Let's see. R, 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 R. Wait. Okay, let's get on the right thing. <laughs> see? See, I needed that visual. That those. That's what you need right there. If you have this little board going there and this little board going there, you know you're... See, it's not correct there. But it is correct there. You have boards going across both ways. So you know your V is nestled correctly. Now these do not match up right here. And that's not a problem. And then we have this hole right here. So let's go ahead and fix this. And we're going to go to our 2 meter at this point. Oops. 2 meter little roof. Because it just gives you so much more. Oh, you know what? Well, yeah, we're doing it on here. Oh, let's see if I can. I should have waited to delete that platform. Let's see if we can do it. I think we can. There we go. And then over here. So we need to get this just right. It's hard to see this though. Let's see. Uh, get it up where it goes. Okay, we just need it to extend out just a tiny bit. We'll get it. We'll get it. Let's see. Okay, there it is, the inside. There we go. Now what's wrong with this side over here? So I'm thinking that roof, that see, that looks good. But this roof, okay, yeah. So let's do, fix this one. We can get up on the roof here, I think, and see what we're doing. Okay, rotate and get to the edge. Now, does everything look good? Let's take that off of there. We have a nice straight roof here and a nice straight roof here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, we did it, guys. <laughs> okay, so the next thing to do is we need to fill in the gables. And I've shown how to do that a lot. Like, you can give the, the, just the beginner look and then I'll finish those up but you take these they're called stepped walls and use your uh, use whatever material you want I'm gonna match and have them in inside on that board down there you want that like that and then like that and you, you want them so that you don't see any of those jag jagged edges now they're going to make things on the outside of the roof but that's fine so see those little jagged edges and just lift it up until see it makes a nice smooth there we go like that right there and then like that up oh. nope there we go 
and, it may, and then you fill that in and if you want to have windows or whatever you do that so I'm going to do that on both of these and I'll bring you back when I'm through with that okay I've just about finished up here up in the attic with this I filled in all of these window areas and then I thought let's see one more I thought I'm gonna add windows like this look at that isn't that pretty so a window is three down and two across so I would need to do six down and four across so one more up I think we'll do it and oh, let's see do I have enough windows oh yeah I've got plenty of windows Let's see here. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do up here, but I think I've decided I like this. And plus it lets a lot of light up in here. Boy, it is dark up in the attic. Okay. Boy, they're just kind of fumbly too, aren't they? Come on. There, I saw it. There we go. All right. So that looks pretty good, I think. I think that I like that a lot. Now for the dormer. Okay, so what we need to do is put down a uh, this right here. And I think if we put one a little bit out here and then jump up on it and put another one, it'll be easier to get up on the roof. Maybe up stand out here. Mm, okay. Right here. There we go. Okay, that's probably good enough. All right, so we want to be able to get up on the roof right here. So we're going to put a dormer, and you kind of want to center your dormer on the, the center part of this roof. And what I figured out how to do this for me, it's pretty simple, is it, you're going to make it three by six uh, area right here in the middle and you're going to eyeball it so take your uh, one single block oops I keep doing that uh, one single block and come up uh, come up about one two three four five we want to go up to the fifth about there four five six I don't know that looks too let's see two three four five six and go up one more every house is going to be different and everything every time is going to be different if you know how to actually do it then it doesn't matter what roof you're working on or what different materials you're using It'll be the same. So that's what's important. So, okay, we've got our roof up here. We want to pull it up a little bit there to there. We just want those little, little corners showing. Okay, try that. Let's go see. I don't know. I think that's too high. I don't know. We have to keep trying till we get it the way we want it. We can do it any way we want to do it. Seems like I can't jump with a roof in my hand. Yes, now see, that's perfect. So you can tell what you can tell it looks good. I think I don't know. Let's put the bottom part on and see. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I think that's right. So we'll go inside at this point, and these little things like that we can fix in a minute. But right now, let's fix the. I'll show you how it looks. It's the single blocks, and we want the. Um, shroud wood and let's make a little just a little line across here just go across like that and then come out come out two and then come up two and the thing is you're going to be able to do it to like change up or Oop, boop, 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 boop. Why? Okay. Now let's go out and look. Um, so I think I want to come out one more. 
And I see I may, yeah, I may. Okay, I'm going to come out one more up and down. There. <laughs> I don't know why that was a problem. That's why. Okay, that was it right. Go in. Oh, is it getting dark? I need it right there. Normally I can do that. There we go. I don't know why. But see, that looks pretty good. But I, what I want to do is I want to... Mm, okay, let's sleep. I'll be right back. All right, it's morning. So what I want to do is extend the little dormer out just a little bit, I think, to come back over that little edging. So let's go down to our little peak roof and see how there. that's where it should be. And that's pulled in, and I want it one more out. Let's see if that's if that's about right, because that's this is where you can make those dormers. Yeah, see that looks really nice. What we need to do next is we want to add our spare our big room on. This is the room. This is going to be the kitchen. So we want to add four foundations back here. I've got snapping on foundations snap nicely. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Just said that. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure they're they're correct. Oh my goodness. There we go. And we want to add our walls. First, let's make sure that we are level. We are that we're level with the rest of the house. So uh, let's see. We want to go with one block. And I want to put a door in here. I'll go. Let's see. One, two, and then the third one. A door is four wide, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, and just make this door. This way we can go in and out if we need to as we're building. And the, the great thing is I love this part of it because you built your walls and everything. Then you get to decide where you want all of your walls and your doors and kind of make it your own. So we want walls all the way around, just like normal. Let's go the four meter. Now the difference is, if you remember when we when we first did these walls, we put them in and then we went up too. Remember that? So we want these to give it just a. I don't know. I, I don't think I can explain it. But what it's going to do is make the roofs not match. It, there's going to be a little bit of a mismatch on the level of the roof. So what that's going to do is give a little bit of character because it's not just the exact thing. Oop, boop, 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 boop. See, I need, there we go. So uh, we want to go ahead and do the roof. It's real, boy, compared to that other roof, this thing is so simple. Use the same four meter like that. And you know what? I think it Okay, we want to do the ceiling. Remember, I said we have to, if you do the ceiling first, then it's going to be so much easier. We'll go upstairs and go and look down. Let's go four meter and do this like that. And then should match up. Yeah, there we go. And one more please one more please <laughs> oh there we go now should be right let's go look all the way around and make sure and get up on our oh i took down my scaffolding totally forgot that i still need to be able to get up there let's see here there we go now, if we get down here on this, like that, now we can put this roof on. Okay, let's go to the four meter roof. Okay, and kind of do what we did normal. Just getting in a spot. I don't know if I'm there. I saw it. That. 
rotate. Let's get this. I can't. Hmm. Can't see. There we go. That one we can eyeball. I think. Looks like it's right. Yep. That's good. Now let's continue this on. Like I say, this is a simple, simple roof compared to that other thing because we had so many valleys and just continue all. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about the window. I went to all that trouble. And I didn't even think about it. Now, the other end's fine. We'll go ahead and pick these up and we can fill that in easily. I forgot that we were putting this over here. <laughs> goodness I love how easy it is to fix things good thing huh okay is that up there yep and then I think it'll be easier to get above because this little attic we uh, will not probably be able to get in I guess we could you you could open a door up have a little secret that's where you could have your secret room couldn't you and then go all the way no want down move it down See, it's, it doesn't quite match up with that other roof, but that gives it just a little bit of, uh, what do you call it? I don't know what to call that. So we probably don't want to have any kind of window in here because you can't see it. Let's go to our wall. Oh, we probably want the, we want the two meter wall. Let's see, number seven and rotate. Here, let's just go in. We can do it easier. Come on. Oh, I bet I've got it on snapping. There we go. Sometimes snapping is good, but sometimes it doesn't work. See, now there we go. And that just makes a blank wall, but ooh, we could put some kind of trophy there. All right, next. So we did our extra little room. Let's go get one of these torches right here. Put it in this slot. We need a little bit of light in here. Gosh, it is dark. I'll just stick it there. There, see, that makes all the difference. So this is our kitchen. This is going to be our kitchen here. And then this is our big living room. We're going to put a fireplace over here. Next is our front windows. All right, so... This is a, also kind of a different little thing I want to show. So we want to put windows. So let's let's start. I'm, again, I'm not sure. I always have to, whoop, always have to, kind of look and see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we want three windows across. And so we need to come down. One, two, three four, five. So, oh, shoot. Before we do that, I need to change out the front and this wall and fit it in there and come down. I think that's right. I think that's the way I want it. In the corner like that. Yep. Goes look at the front. Always double check your work. Okay, there we go. That look. Mm, nope, look at that. Interesting. Um, what? Which one's wrong? The bottom or the top? So actually, come to think of it, it'd probably be easier to make your walls out of what you want to make them before. You. <laughs> I'll fix that at, at later. Okay, so let's go back to what we were doing. Um... We want the one, and we want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So first, cut out what you know your size of your windows are, like this. This is about where I would want my windows, I think. That looks, that looks good. So then, I also, because of this stone... I want to frame this out with wood because if if you look at it, uh, once you go look at it in the front, it looks weird to have windows sitting inside stone. 
It just looks weird. So to me, you need to frame it out. So let's do that real quick. It won't take but a minute. And then take our um, shrouded wood. There we go. And just build a frame for your windows, except inside here. There we go. And it's going to make all the difference. It's, it'll look so nice. And one more. There we go. And do we have enough windows? Yes, we do. Oh, look at that. Now, doesn't let's go look at... The, hmm, I might need to move that up. It doesn't look right. Yeah, I need to move it up one. I need to fix that top too. <laughs> I wonder, is that must go up in the attic? That's what I need to fix. Yeah, definitely need to go up one. How about that? Hmm. I did not count right. Okay, that is no problem. I'll, when I get it fixed, I'll bring you back. Alrighty, so that looks so much better. <laughs> oh my goodness. So really, a lot of it is... For you to see what you like and what you want for your cozy country cottage. But that's what I wanted mine to look like. We need to go around and we need to fix the back porch. And this is going to be so pretty back here that it looks just like a mess right now. Okay, let's put snapping on and snap to the flame for this part. I think No, I want to snap to my house. Okay, then snap here. And that's what, I, this is the way I ended up doing it. I really like the, hmm, I really like this. And you have to snap it and then pull it out if you want your flame right in the center. And then, that's not right. Let's remove that. If we get up here, we can see what we're doing. <laughs> so it ended up being like half, and I was like, oh, what's that going to do? But it, it fills it in nicely. See how nice it is? And, the, and so your flame is sitting on your, on your stone. Let's see here. Let's see. I'm not sure where we want our door. But for now, we're going to put it right here. So we can go in and out. This is about where I wanted it, I think. <laughs> the great thing is you can change it okay so we want to continue on I wanted to I just wanted to make sure that my foundation was um, the right height there we go and we're gonna do something with the tree real pretty I'll show you we're gonna take our one block we're gonna use the uh, shrouded wood and we're going to start with a little box around the tree so it looks like we planted the tree in a planter I think here it's getting dark I want to hurry I think it would be so much fun if we could make all kinds of planters is that right I can't see no out here can't see Two, three, four, and then across. I want it to be a perfect square. Is it? Nope. Mm, maybe. Uh, nope. Yeah, I can't tell. It looks nice. It's so dark I can't tell. But doesn't that, that looks fun, doesn't it? That looks really nice to have that on my patio, back patio. So we did the patio, we did the stairs, um, we did the attic. I tell you what, guys, this was a lot. Now next episode, we are going to be closing in these stairs for a special room. We're going to be adding a pergola to the back patio. We're going to be adding in kitchen and a bathroom and just making our home a home. So I hope you stay tuned for that for the next episode. But for now, I'm going to end this little video right here and I hope it helped. Please ask any questions you have about it and I hope I can answer. And if you build this little house, I want to see pictures of it. 
We'll talk to you later. Bye.